Okay, hello and welcome back to the FIFA 21 career mode with Northampton Town. Got another big long episode for you here today, so don't forget to like and subscribe and don't forget to follow on Twitch. Link is always in the description and we're kicking ourselves off with the action in the EFL Cup against Exeter City. It's Southwood Mills, Sheehan, Horsehall, Fiola, Corboa, Pollock, Watson, Adams, Holmes and Rose. Caprice. Challenged well there by Nicky Adams, I think it was on the far side. Here's Holmes who can turn and put Rose in. It's a very rapid counter. And Danny Rose is in behind, puts it straight in the keeper, gets the second opportunity and does not fail the second time. It's in the back of the net. Saving the initial chance, but you can't give him two. If Danny Rose does not score first time, he will score given a second bite of the cherry and that proved true here. Taylor, around the corner for Law. Travelling forward, Law chips it forward for Bowman, who can calmly volley it into the back of the cobbler's net. A sip of the tea for Bowman. It's a very, very good finish. Caught out defensively once again, and a good ball through and a good finish. Good switch for Randall here. Up against Fiola. Does just about enough there. Wins the ball but gives it straight to Law. Terrible from the right back. And it's into Bowman the goal scorer. Now Randall. The shot is taken. It's defended well. It's going to come for Law again here. They're still alive Exeter. Randall now. Fiola does just enough that time. But no. It's a penalty. Giving the ball away initially and now giving away the penalty. You can say it's really close, but he's put his arm up. So an exit to penalty. Bowman will take it. And he's rattled the bar straight down the middle and eventually back to Southwood's arms. Here's Law. Good ball through. Bowman. Back for Law. Law finishes it well. Sheehan went to ground there. Bowman one step ahead of the centre-back. Finding Law, who can put it in the back of the net for Exeter. And the team who we beat 4-0 in the playoff final to be in League One are getting a little bit of revenge here, perhaps. Page into Law. Caused so much trouble for us all day. Through for Bowman. And it's a great finish. It's a really great snapshot finish. And Law and Bowman are tearing us apart. It's a really sorry sight, but there's nothing we can do at the moment. They're just tearing us apart. Sheehan, though, has a free kick. He's going to try and put some whip on this. Sheehan, it's great down the middle, but it's a little bit awkward for the keeper in the end. Has to palm it over. Nicky Adams has the opportunity to deliver the corner. In towards Rose. It's going to come here for Horsefall. Leans far back, and it's poor. Watson into Holmes. Adams, Rose, back to Nicky Adams here. Tight angle goes across for Pollock, who blazes it over the bar as well. Watson plays it into Ricky Holmes. Ricky Holmes puts the ball across for Rose. <laughs> he misjudges it. He misjudged it. Here's Scott Pollock. Plays a good ball in towards Ashley Seal, who's in the box, and we've got a penalty. Ooh, I'm not sure about that one. Let's have a look here. I mean, it, might look, it looks a bit to me that defenders just use the strength there, and Ashley Seal's just been a bit weak, but he's gotten the penalty for being impeded there. Not 100% not sure on that one myself, but Danny Rose will have to be the man to step up to take it in the absence of Sam Hoskins. It's a really poor penalty. Really poor. Got to try and get to it from the resulting corner. Nicky Adams can deliver it. Headed away. Comes to Honeyman. Honeyman strikes. Little cannon back out wide for Adams. Chips it in there. Marshall was going wide, but the keeper goes for the save. He's going to have to deal with another corner now, thanks to the misjudgment. But Adams delivers it in. It's another defensive header out the way. Adams will get another chance. 
This time it's towards Benny Ashley Seal who gets enough volley into the far corner. Benny Ashley Seal pulling one back. Just what we needed. The penalty wasn't a big waste in the end. It led eventually to that corner. And eventually to the goal that we should have got on a couple of minutes earlier. It's a great header from BAS. Mills into Rose. Good turn. And here's George Honeyman travelling forwards. Honeyman opts for the pass to Benny Ashley Seal who doesn't miss. A very generous offer from George Honeyman. And Benny Ashley Seal gobbles up the chance. We are now level and BAS impresses again in front of goal in the cup. Exeter been pegged back but we'll look for an opportunity here with a Jose and he's onside I don't believe that Nikia Jose scores for Exeter City and I literally can't believe how bad that is from Horsefall takes it off him then just lets him have it back for Jose there is time in this but not if we play like that here's Law Southwood does really well standing up there. And now here's Williams with the chance to do something extra. Here's Law now. Blocked by Sheehan and will get rid. Taylor puts it straight through for Williams. Rendell Williams now puts it through for Law. Thorn in our side all day. Back to Williams. A Jose. Williams again. Williams going to go all the way here. But Southwood saves down low to his near post. Williams will take the corner. Exeter already winning this one. Could get another. Horsfall heads it away. Randall. Good challenge from Honeyman. Loses out though. Here's Law. And Law takes the strike on after Horsfall falls over. And it's well saved. It's going to be another opportunity from the corner. It's one and Salford has to parry it over. Another corner. Exeter to deliver it. Headed away this time by Fiola. Comes for Dyer. Collins. Taylor now. It's too easy for Exeter at the moment. Collins. Taylor. Back to Collins. Skipping past his man. Goes for goal, but Horsfall blocks it. It's another corner for Exeter. Too much pressure. Mark Marshall winning the initial header. And now Adams can get rid. But instead of that, there might be an opportunity here. Adams bombing down on the left-hand side. McArdle's not going to get there at his age. Adams inside for Honeyman. Honeyman strikes and it's well saved. Honeyman. Halfway through the six minutes of injury time. Here's Danny Rose. Is there still a chance in this for us? There could be for Honeyman. What a save. Law is tackled by Sheehan. Mills plays it into Rose. Here's Benny Ashley Seal. 30 seconds over time, but we are in. Rose into Honeyman. Honeyman into Nicky Adams. Adams, what a save from the Exeter keeper. Putting them through to the next round after an incredible stop. Exeter are through to the latter stages of the EFL Cup. And after a performance like that, you, you have to say they deserve it. It's a good ranking there for Benny Ashley Seal and for Danny Rose. But we are out of the Cup. And that is a gutting way to go out of it. Now we're back into the league. It's Southwood, Brites, Bolger, Masterton, Harriman, Hoskins, Honeyman, Missilu, Adams, Neil and Ashley Seal. And we're playing Oxford United away from home. Launch wall by the keeper. Masterson though, towering header. Really good from the young defender. Been very impressed with him this season so far. Here's Neil. Honeyman. Goes into Benny Ashley Seal. Oh, what a finish on the turn from BAS. You love to see those kind of goals. Doesn't look like he should even be able to score from that angle. But somehow finds the very top corner. See this one again here. I just don't know how he scores that. Brilliant from the striker. Henry. Oxford United winger. Chipping this one in. Away by Masterson. 
And the referee's given a handball. He's given a handball against Nicky Adams. Oh, I just... I can't. I can't believe that one again. Oh, what do you want him to do? Just cut his arms off. And James Henry steps up and sends Luke Southwood the wrong way. It is a 1-1. One -one. I just don't know what you want Nicky Adams to do in that situation. I really don't. What do you want him to do? The man's got arms. Where else is he supposed to put them? It's a ridiculous decision, but nonetheless, Oxford have the goal. Here is Henry again. Looking to cause problems. Comes inside, blocked off the chest of Masterson. Another good intervention from him. Now here is Taylor. Misalu does well. Falls here for Gorin. I think that Honeyman's going to get away with it. And there's a chance for a counter on here. And it's Benny Ashley Seal. Running down this left-hand channel. Has a bit of room to come inside. He's got the beating of the defender for pace. And Benny Ashley Seal hits it straight at the goalkeeper in the end. Nicky Adams will take the corner. Putting it into a dangerous area. There's Bulger. Good save from Eastwood. The keeper in goal there. Good interception from Britez. But it might come all the way through here. But Southwood. Jesus Christ, lads. I just... Jesus, lads. Calm it down. Keon Bulger. Into Benny Ashley Seal. Sees the running of George Neal. He's found George Neal. He's in behind here just before half time. And George Neal hits it across the keeper. And we are back in front just before the break. The last thing you want as the manager conceding that goal is to have to change your complete entire team talk after a very late goal. Southwood throws this one out for Honeyman, but it's intercepted by Unboa. Naboa now through for Ford. Ford snapshot. How has that gone in? Southwood, you really let yourself down there. You can't give me poor defending for that one. That's poor goalkeeping from someone who's been so, so good for us this season so far. Southwood there. Oh, he has to save it. He has to save it. Corner comes in. Away by Hoskins, just about. Comes back here. Here's Ford. Ford comes inside. This time does not catch out Southwood. Henry takes another corner. Our substitutes have been made. A flick on header and Southwood has to save again. Oxford are going to have another opportunity for a corner here. Henry delivers this time towards Winnell. And he scores. It's really poor once again at the back. I'm going to have to do some drastic tactical tweaking for the coming games because this is not good enough defensively. Conceded a hat load of goals again. It's a great header. Masterson finds Corboa. Holmes. Lovely one-two with him and Ricky Corboa. Corboa now holding the ball off, finds Holmes, can put it through for Benny Ashley Seal, who can put it across the keeper, and we're back on level terms. Let's see this one again. Great play from Corboa, and then Holmes, Benny Ashley Seal and Mark, scuffs the shot possibly, which might carry it past the keeper. Southwood wants everyone forward. Two and a half minutes of injury time remain. Benny Ashley Seal's got to win it, and he does. Here's Honeyman. He's absolutely cream crackered. There is Benny Ashley Seal on the ball. Puts it through for Ricky Holmes. Ricky Holmes unleashes a strike. And with one minute of injury time remaining, we make it 4-3 in Oxford. It looks like in back-to-back -back games, the away team will win 4-3. This time, we're on the right end of the result, though, as it stands. Ricky Holmes here, take a bow. He scored another brilliant goal here. Go on, Ricky. It's a great finish. Another big goal for him. Five in the league now for the veteran who thought his career could have been over. But he's showing no signs of slowing down in this Cobblers team. Oxford now have no time at all. Can't be wasting it like they are. They're still not getting the ball forward. And there is the full-time whistle. They've messed around for a full minute and a half there. 
and the full-time whistle goes for us to have a brilliant victory but we've got to sort out those defensive frailties. There's some good ratings in there for Holmes and for Benny Ashley Seal with perfect 10. But unfortunately, George Honeyman now has torn his quadricep muscle and will be out for two months. He's a big money signing. He's a big player in this team. And we're going to have to be without him for two full months. Now we play Lincoln, though. It's Southwood, Mills, Horsfall, Masterson, Harriman, Hoskins, McWilliams, Missalou, Adams, Neil and Danny Rose. Here is Harriman. Lovely ball in toward Rose. Headed away, though. Missalou will collect. Into Neil. What's Neil want here? A back heel for Harriman. Harriman gets a good cross into McWilliams with a little flick on. It was a good save. Here is Sean McWilliams. Looking to influence the attack again here with Sam Hoskins. Harriman. Going to try and get another cross in. It's a beauty. Good header away by the defender. Harriman and Hoskins causing lots of problems down there. Corner from Nicky Adams now. Comes for Masterson. And Connor Masterson scores. He has been by far our best defender so far this season. And now Connor Masterson has his first goal for the Cobblers. The young Irish centre-back gets this little flick on there. I think it's from um, Danny Rose. But it comes from at the back post and he smashes it across. Look what it means to the young lad. 1-0 Cobblers. Callum Morton. Former Northampton Town man, of course, helped us gain promotion last season. El Brazzetti crosses it, but it's away by Mills. Missalou now into the path of Rose, who's going to get the support he needs from Sam Hoskins. It's a break on here. Hoskins has the pace. He's one on one with the keeper. Sam Hoskins now squares it for Rose. It's 2 0. We've looked very good at the back. We've looked very good going forwards. Could this be? A big win of the clean sheet for the Cobblers. Much needed. I've made a few tactical tweaks. Changed a few men around. And as it stands, it's working absolute wonders in this one. Neil wide for Joe Mills. Mills now inside for Neil. Neil takes the shot. It deflects. It's a good block. They're going to keep this in play. Adams can win it, though. It's poor. And here is Neil. Neil can drift inside. Lovely piece of skill from Neil. Neil comes on the inside now. Neil goes for goal. And it parry to McWilliams who puts it in. But the flag is up from the linesman. It won't stand for Sean. Missalou into Rose. Watson can play it back to Danny Rose who is away here. Danny Rose goes for the option of Adams. The keeper's going to get to it. And they're going to get rid. He made the wrong choice, Rose. Interception on the through ball from Watson there though. McGrandles through for Elbazedi. Elbazedi up against Masterson who's tired. He's very tired. Elbazedi here. Lovely cross. And there's the goal for Lincoln that we didn't want to see. There will be no clean sheet. But please, lads, please can we just keep them out. Just get the three points. I think... We just got a bit tired at the end there. Defensively, it's worked for the entire of the game. Just keep it down there. Keep it away from the goal. And there is the full-time whistle. Much, much happy with that performance. We can build on that. Tactically, it worked until the very, very end there where players were caught up pitch and we were a bit tired. There's a phenomenal rating for Masterson. Good one for Danny Rose in there too. What a day for the young centre-back there. Now we play Burton, it's Southwood, Mills, Horsfall, Masterson, Harriman, Hoskins, McWilliams, Missaloo, Adams, Neil and Rose. That was near on perfection, I can't change it. Quinn with this corner for Burton. Sean's going to get the head on it. It's going to come for Rose, who gets a little flick and the defender's gone down and so is Rose. Rose is going to keep on the chase though. Oh, he's robbed the defender, he's robbed Vernon and Rose could be through here. Rose one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper, Daddy Rose scores! Brilliant counter-attack. Brilliant tenacity from Danny Rose. He goes over to the Cobblers supporters in the away end. And that is a great way to start this one. All from a Burton corner. All from double defensive mix-ups. And Danny Rose buries his chance. Love to see that from Danny Rose. Nine goals for him in the league. Neil. 
into Adams. There's a lot of space left by Burton again here. Adams wide for Mills. Mills is in here. Goes for goal. It's a bit tame. Throw in here for Burton. Gilligan into Aikens. Goes back for Stephen Quinn. Now here's Gilligan. Back to Quinn again. Into Edwards. Going to be headed away by Mills. And the counter-attack is on here with Rose. And he's played the ball through for Georgie Neal. Good strength from Neal. He's in behind Burton here. Neal finishes it strongly. And another counter-attack results in another Northampton Town goal. The Wonder Kid strikes again. This is what we're loving to see from us now. We're finding a bit of a groove as a team. And our counter-attacks are looking quality. Quinn has a free kick for Burton. It's going to be pushed away here by Horsfall. And now McWilliams has his turn to run. He wants Sam to run. He's going to poke a ball through. And Sam Hoskins will get there. Hoskins one-on-one. -on -one. Tries to put it through the keeper's legs, but he was wise to it. Missile it. Pulling the strings from deep lying positions. Plays the ball through for Adams, who finds Mills quickly into Neil. Neil! Good save from the goalkeeper. Edwards. Right on the edge of our area. It's now Lucas Aikens. Southwood does really well, and Harriman just gets it out. Quinn has another opportunity at a set piece here. Puts it in away by Connor Masterson here's Quinn still trying to deliver something but Rose doing such good work at the back finds Neil who can turn and it's time for another counter no it's not it's intercepted but Neil won't give it up Missaloo now over to Adams and there could still be something on here here's Danny Rose into Neil through for McWilliams sure McWilliams good save from the goalkeeper Collected though by Rose, great back heel into Nicky Adams. Oh, what a finish from Nicky Adams. This game couldn't be going more perfectly from our point of view. After such difficulties defensively, our midfield being ghosted through and poor finishing, it looks like we've solved all three of those problems in one performance. And Masterson takes a free kick short to Michael Harriman. Harriman wants a ball forward. Not sure he's going to get it though. Does get Hoskins. And there's a ball in behind for Ryan Watson. First time into Rose. Rose tries to chip him. It's going to fall for Ricky Holmes. It is 4-0 in Burton. Phenomenal play. Absolutely class play. First time ball through, tries the little dink, keepers wise, but only can parry it to the left foot of Ricky Holmes. Masterson into Watson. Little flick for Holmes. Strutting our stuff now, here's Danny Rose. Looking for number five. Waits for Holmes, can't quite find him. Watson though, gets all the way over for Corboa. Good save this time from the goalkeeper. Ricky Holmes with the follow up. Here's the corner. Towards Horsfall. Flicked on to Masterson, who on the swivel can't quite divert it. Holmes. Rose. Over to Hoskins. We're in again here against Burton in injury time. Hoskins gets a hand on it, does the goalkeeper. Launched away. And Mills will win it and find Corboa. Chests it down. Corboa now. Oh, he's giving that away to Edwards. Here's Vernon. The ball through for Ennis. Are they going to ruin the clean sheet right at the end? Masterson just does enough to put pressure on him and pull out a weak effort as the full-time whistle will go there. A masterful display. I couldn't be more happy with that. That is a perfect performance. Everyone to a man did their jobs perfectly. The great ratings in there for Neil Adams and McWilliams, the three sub lads. Mills... And Rose too. Rose getting a perfect 10. Love to see it from the lads. Now on to the last game of the episode. It is Accrington. It's Southwood, Mills, Horsfall, Masterson, Harriman, Hoskins, McWilliams, Missaloo, Adams, Neil and Rose. Here is Mills. From one fullback to the other with Michael Harriman. Comes on the inside. Goes to Neil. 
He's carried on his run. Here's Hoskins. He's going to find that run. And Harriman stabs it through. Michael Harriman scores. Great finish from the right back. Who suddenly gets hair as soon as we zoom in on him. They've really done him dirty on that, haven't they? He looks bald until you zoom in on him. In the replay, you can see his full head of hair in all its glory. And a little poke through. It's a lovely little finish from Harriman. Great to see the number two get his first goal. Connolly to Bishop. Chests it down. Could be an opening here for Accrington Stanley. Here's Maguire. Turns back. Gets it onto his left foot. Brings it in towards Bishop who goes for the volley on the turn. It's always going to be difficult. McWilliams. Into George Neal. George Neal might go alone here. Good efforts. Good save from the keeper. Nicky Adams. Little dinks ball into Missile at the near post. It's a nice idea, but it was pretty easily read by the defender. Out for a corner. Adams will take this one again. In towards McWilliams. Great header that time as well. There's another save from the goalkeeper. Adams tries again. Towards Rose this time. Neil will get up there. It's going to be cleared now. Nils has got to win it. Doesn't. And here's Pritchard. Missilou's going to be on him. He's not going to let him go. The ball will eventually find its way forward, but Masterson will do just about enough. But here is Connolly for Accrington. Still trying to carve something out of it. Here's Butcher. Through now. Here's Bishop on the turn. Going to have to be pulled wide. The ball all the way across but into the arms of Southwood. Who's rolled out really poorly. And there's the strike on. And it's been put wide. Great chance. Mills. And travel forward. Harriman now into McWilliams. Here's Danny Rose. Through for Neil. Neil at the angle. Hits the side netting. Corner for Adams. Delivered in. Punched away. Neil will knock it back to Nicky Adams. In it comes again towards Masterson. Who's still up there. Rose. Pokes it through from Hoskins. And Masterson with a phenomenal finish. He's got another one. So many goals for the defence. Brilliant finish from Connor Masterson. Got to see that one again. It's Hoskins, I think, who just gets a toe to it. A little flick up and then smash by Connor Masterson. Pritchard has this little free kick headed away by Horsfall. Burgess. Bishop. Accrington still trying to work something here. We have given them a couple of opportunities. We won't give them this one. Harriman intercepting the loose ball. Hoskins can counter. Driving through diagonally. Does really well there. Now here's Neil. Lovely take. George Neil's through. Neil goes for goal. It's a really good save with the foot. Missile. Pulling the strings. Here is Adams. Through for Rose. Has the ball back for Nicky Adams. Nicky Adams scores. It's 3-0 now. We are really showing our style now. Just brilliant move after brilliant move. And this time it's Nicky Adams to finish it off. Pritchard with this corner for Ackington. Headed away brilliantly by Connor Masterson. Charles back to Connolly. Through here. Great challenge just about. Connolly now. Southwood gets a good hand to it. Connolly. Little flick back there. Here's Summer into Connolly. Ball through here for Obakawi. Oh, misjudgment from Horse Fall. But really good save there for Southwood. Missile into Holmes. Ricky Holmes always oh, been robbed there. Cassidy has a chance to counter here with Accrington. He's trying to slow this down a little bit, actually. Obakawi into Spinelli. Is there a chance in this for Accrington? No, there's not. They've wasted too much time trying to counter us. But it's a phenomenal way to end the episode. Four wins from five. We're out of the cup, but we got four wins. Three clean sheets back to back to back. A great 
uh, rating there for Harriman and Masterson and Nicky Adams. Well, great way to end that episode there. We found a bit of solidity and we start off the next episode with a match against Peterborough, who are third. So if you love this one, please leave a like and subscribe. Please follow on Twitch and I'll love to see you all there for the next one.